Hello, dear ones, it's Alice. I'm of the stars. I, do I have a spooky story for you? I was just went down this long grade on this poorly paved hill with a lot of issues for a Honda to negotiate. Down a mile or so down. And at the bottom of the hill, at the bottom of the um, mountain, there was a campground, a rough campground, and it was a dead end next to a stand of trees and a tiny little shallow uh, brook, very shallow. There were no people there, and I got a spooky feeling immediately. Hardly wanted to get out of my car so much as to look at the brook, but I did get out, but first I positioned my car around so that it was heading back in the direction up the hill next to the next to the to the road such as it was that went up the hill and as I got out of my car drove down to the turnaround there to which I was facing a man who looked like Clint Eastwood without a mustache without a hat but definitely that piercing eyed Clint Eastwood spare look and next to him was a lady in the car who was looking the other direction like she was emotionally distant. She's about his age, maybe his wife, I guess, her girlfriend. She was very pretty and and muscular like like people that, who live outdoors on ranches and stuff like that are. So I thought, geez, maybe these two are ranchers or farmers, something like that. And, uh, but I had a, a presentiment and I thought I better skid, skedaddle back up the hill right away. So the minute I saw them, I got in the car and just as they were stopping in the roundabout, I was heading back up the hill, such as it was. Ill-paved hill as fast as I could, considering my Honda, right? And while I was going up the hill, I was talking to them on the psychic plane. The guy says, I guess she knows what happened here last night. And I'm thinking, what is that about? That big black trash bag uh, propped up against the uh, post next to the, next to the roundabout? What is he talking about? Are there bodies in the bag? What's up? My, my emotions were running wild. I couldn't figure it out. And so then I said to the lady on the psychic plane, I said, what say? What does he mean by that? And she said, We tied him up and we conked him out. And I said, uh, on the astral plane, where'd you take them? She said, and we took them to the manure heap in the back of our place. As I was heading up the hill, uh, I heard a friend of the man pitch in and say, did we lose anything there? And the, the man at the bottom of the hill said, No, I don't think that's worth looking into. And I thought, Oh my gosh, what should I do? You know, so in that county where that is, I, I called in my mind, I called to the sheriff. I said, Say, you know what's happening over there? He says, yeah, we got an idea of what's going on. And, and then I said, well, so I expect it to say that those types of folks that, that, that hires a sheriff in this county? And he says, yeah, it's up to them. Spooky. So then the, um, the guy says, well, you know, we ain't got enough water for the cattle out here to last all the year round. So we got to do something to make ends meet. So I got on the main road and I'm just riding along, hoping there were no tacks strewn around on that bad road that went down the mountain, hoping I'm not going to get a flat before I get back to welcome civilization 
and I hear the woman's voice talking to the man and it goes like this. I just don't like that, that look in their eyes, that pleading look in their eyes. And the guy goes, last night the man died like a man. He looked me straight in the eye and he said, go ahead and do it. <laughs> The other night I was listening to a gentleman on the psychic plane. He sounded a little like the Dalai Lama, that kind of person who offers very sage, peaceful advice. And he said, if anybody confesses to a horrible crime on the astral plane, just say to them, I understand. And then they will leave you alone and go off someplace. And I've been trying that ever since, and I have to say my success rate is pretty impressive. So I thought with this couple of lair that I was just talking to, it might be a good thing to use as well. Because then the gentleman said on the astral plane, I wonder if we have to worry about rounding up this one. And I said, I understand. And he said, no, I guess that's not worth worrying about.